Here's the thing. Have you ever talked to your kids about the menopause? Well, today, TV presenter Linda Barker, of course, you know from shows like Changing Rooms and so many others, is teaming up with her daughter Jess for a new series. Well, Linda and her daughter Jess joined me now, and you're right, it's starting the conversation. Me and my mum never had that conversation. No. You just didn't then. You just didn't. No. And, and my mum, you know, she, she's had four girls, and, and what a beautiful opportunity for her to be able to open up and help us. But yes. it just wasn't part, it wasn't done at all. No. I mean, probably, you know, her mother didn't do it. No. You know, but then when it came to us, I think because I learned so much from my sisters, I and mean, that's the joy of having a big family, sure. and I've got two mm. older sisters, that conversation started naturally with my older sister. And she said, oh, one day I've got to sit down, I'm having this hot flush. She's like, what? Oh, yeah. What? And I was like, oh, my God. So that started me to think, because I've just got Jess, I need that conversation with Jess. Because Absolutely. intergenerational conversations are still valuable, even mm -hmm. though, you know, initially it would have been about starting periods. But now, you, you know, womanhood is all-encompassing. Mm. No, it is, and we should talk about that. And Jess, you found out a lot, didn't you? Not just the physical effects, like the hot flushes and things, but how it affected your mum mentally as well. Yeah, totally. I yeah. mean, we talked about it. We've always had a very open relationship, but mm. I think it's always so beautiful when women talk to women about being a yeah. woman. Mm. Um, and it was a lovely experience to kind of have that chat and go deeper. It was. Mm. I mean, the conversation's quite loud now about menopause. Mm -hmm. As you know, there's a lot of people that are up. And we had a conversation, do you remember about you? 10 years of course ago? Do. Absolutely. You were one I... of the first people to, to actually talk about it. It was yeah. so refreshing. I do remember I, I got, you know, asked to talk about it and, and people were going, oh, I don't know if you really want to. Do you really want to let people know? how old you are or the <laughs> fact that you are going through it's like yeah i think the conversation is nope. relevant You're and right. it's and it even you know today we know so much more and the conversation is loud out there yes there's still new research coming to the front there's still women that need a lot of help mm -hmm. and i think i really i loved the fact that they wanted jess and i to work together mm. because i think that's again that's a new conversation about the menopause yeah you know, and i guess for, for jess it sort of prepares you i mean it's not for a while yet mm. but it, obviously Obviously, I know, well, you never can tell, can you? Um, but it, it prepares you a little bit more. You've opened up that, yeah. that chat. You know you can talk to your mum about anything anyway, mm -hmm. but not everyone's got that sort of relationship. No. But do you feel better for having for done this series, for doing the series? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel much more prepared. I feel like I've got kind of more of a rounded yes. knowledge of what the menopause is. You know, yeah. things like terms like the perimenopause, the menopause. Yeah. I didn't know any of that. <laughs> I didn't know kind of all of the symptoms that you can experience and how different it is for woman to woman. Mm. You know, I speak to colleagues and they're, and they're saying like, oh, I feel a bit different. I don't know what's going on. I don't know whether it's the menopause. I don't know whether it's not. Mm. And I think it's lovely for everyone to be able to have a space to exactly. talk. Exactly, and at least they're mentioning the word. Because you were, like I said, you were one of the first, because we did try to talk to a lot of very high profile women. I'm talking 10 years ago, things are so much different. Yeah. Now. They wouldn't come on for that very reason. Wow. They didn't want people to think that they were old. And e yeah, it's exactly. It's crazy, isn't it? It's yeah, just and completely. How much has changed? Oh, too right. And that conversation changes every, it helps a lot of women. A lot of women don't want to open up about it. And, the, and research has showed that a fifth of women really just want to keep it to themselves and don't yeah. have the conversation, that's, even that's with their fine. mates. That's fine if they want to yeah. do that, as long mm. because there's a lot more information online and things like that. Exactly. And there's a lot more access to that, because it's obviously up to, to, to the individuals. But you yourself, what sort of treatment did you get? Because I don't think HRT worked for I, you. It doesn't work for everyone, it doesn't work for No, everyone. exactly. I, I mean, I just research, research, research. I was all about kind of finding all the information and online and print and me, everything. And I kind of left it for maybe three or four years. So I was perimenopausal, I was still having all those symptoms. And then I went on to HRT. So I'd kind of thought, oh, I'm just gonna be natural because right. I think a lot of the research that came from the 60s mm. was not quite true. No, and so I thought, no, 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 no HRT for me. And again, that conversation and that research has shown that actually it can be very beneficial. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Just this week they were saying that actually they're doing studies on that it can help 
sort of slow down Alzheimer's for you. Yes, I, saw that. I mean, that is incredible, isn't it? Isn't it, it? Is as well as all the other benefits, you know, like helping if, you've, if you're prone to osteoporosis and things. Yeah. Heart mm -hmm. disease, it can, it can yeah, help with yeah, that. Yeah. It's just what you say, it's about being informed. And that's what mm. for Jess, and this is what's really good about. Now, you called it changing wombs. Changing wombs. See I what, see what you did. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I know. But, but for your generation, you're much, much more open about it, aren't you? I think yeah. so. You know, you're saying that you couldn't have this conversation with your mother mm. or you didn't. Like, I can't even imagine that. No. And I know that's our relationship, but I, I think that's my friends as well. Sure. We are talking, and particularly as women, we're much more kind of confident to own that side of being a woman and not afraid to shy away from those previously more taboo subjects. Well, we know you don't really indifferent from changing rooms. Now we know you from changing rooms. <laughs> I do. But changing rooms, are you still doing all that? You've got a big project on the go now. Just, I mean, are you still... And, and has, have you passed on your love for design and all of that. I think you've yes, always course. loved design and you... Well, you would yeah. do. You've grown up in a house where it's all... Yeah. 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 all swatches of material yeah. and bits of tile and all Oh, my it. goodness. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jess, one day this will be finished and it never is because we kept on moving house. Yeah, and... never. Never finished. <laughs> no, but yeah, I remember you were always decorating your bedroom and like, mm. oh, I'll just chip this plaster off and reveal this tim this uh, beautiful brickwork behind. Oh, so that looked beautiful. It's definitely <laughs> something. And you still kind of renovate furniture. Like, you use a lot of the... Oh, online. that's good. That's um, very good, yeah. especially now reuse, recycle. Yeah, all of that. exactly, yeah. exactly. Brilliant. And especially as a lot of people are renting these days, so you know you can, you can get a piece of furniture, mm. you know, on free cycle or whatever, yeah. or and and charity and shops charity sometimes. Shop. Of and course. A lot of people leave furniture on the street these days and you kind of go, oh, I have a little mm. coat of paint. But, yeah, I'm still very much in the decorating world. I'm still working in decorating. I take private clients occasionally. I work with some beautiful um, platforms. Mm. Changing rooms always gave me a really nice voice. Yes. You know, out of decorating as well, which is why this was so important to me as well. Of to course. Work with. Of course. And I've been really fortunate for that. We're very lucky, aren't we, Lorraine, working on television? Yeah. It's a beautiful world and, and your voice gets heard. And I mm. think that's always been the case throughout my career. Oh, it's fantastic. Linda, thank you. You've cheered me up, both of you. Hooray. And you can watch Changing Rooms on Essity's YouTube right now. Right, yeah, now. right now. Right now. Thank you both so much.